So for today, let's get started now. And then just choose any version of Shavasana that you like, you know, that you have. If you want to come into a seated posture, by all means, you want to lie down, just wherever you are, begin to just surrender your body and surrender your mind to the next 60 minutes. Use that as your break. Connecting inwards, honoring World Mental Health Day. And then wherever you are lying down, or if you're seated, begin to just root any connection points with the ground, your mat. Allowing the eyes to fall shut. And just begin to become aware of your breath. Noticing how you're breathing today. Noticing how far the breath is traveling throughout the body. And just keep your awareness centered on bringing in air through the nose and expelling the air and anything that does not serve you, that does not feel good in the body. Use your exhales to let it fall out. Imagine you're sitting on a cloud or if you're lying down. This crowd is full of air, full of energy, prana from the universe. And you notice that with every inhale, your cloud starts to glow a nice gold yellow color. With every inhale that you take, you absorb this energy, this glow, and it gets brighter. And every exhale, this glow now coming in through your nostrils is expanding throughout the body. Taking in energy and light from the world and expelling anything that does not serve you in your mind, any stress, any tension, feeling yourself get heavier, your muscles just relaxing away from the bones. Imagining this glow now within you, getting brighter and brighter as you breathe in more light. I know, Gigi, you're not seeing anything, but just feel this glow, this warmth spreading from your center throughout your entire limbs, through the shoulders, on the arms through the fingertips. Imagine the rays coming out down your legs, your thighs, your calves. Just taking a few more breaths like this, allowing the air in to just glow your inner light, grow. Expelling the air out and anything that does not feel good relaxing the facial muscles and then on your next exhale suiting it all out starting to bring back the awareness to your body maybe wiggling your fingers and your toes 
wherever you are. Your next breath in, take a deep inhale to fill up all the way, reaching the arms up, reach as high as you can. As you exhale, relax the shoulders, keeping your eyes closed. If you're lying down, you can begin to roll to one side, bringing your knees to your chest. If you're sitting, bringing your hands to touch in prayer to your third eye, thumbs, massaging the spot here. Allowing the intuition from this space to flow through. And when you're ready, blinking the eyes open, bowing down in gratitude, offering the next practice, anything you want. Setting an intention here. Maybe it be for your breath, your health. And then when you're ready, come to me in tabletop. Stacking hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips. Remembering to spread the fingers, checking the alignment of your wrist creases. All those goody cues. And then we're going to come into some cat-cow movements. So when you're ready on your next breath in, send the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Drop the belly and lift the gaze gently. As you exhale, push the floor away around the spine. Belly button up to the back. Push the floor away. Breathing in, drop that belly to she up. Lifting the gaze. And then just going for a few rounds of cat and cow, warming up our posterior chain. Remembering to keep the movement in line with the breath. And then when you're ready on your next breath, in, come back to neutral. Staying here for the exhale. And on your next breath in, push your ribs to the right. We're going to come into some circular movements. So breathe into the right push, keeping your arms straight as you exhale. Drop the belly. And then begin to inhale, coming to the left, coming into round the spine as you push the air out. Breathing in, rounding down to the left rib cage. Arms remain straight in the circular movement. You can begin to add the head if you'd like. Or maybe looking between the hands. And then when you're ready, switch to the other side. And your next breath in, coming back to neutral, making sure your everything's stacked. As you inhale, lift the left arm up towards the ceiling. Look up, and as you exhale, we're going to thread the needle through, dropping the left ear to the mat and the left back of the hand down. Pressing the shoulder down. You can bring the right hand to a tripod in front and then begin to push that right shoulder towards the back. Not letting the belly droop here, zip it up. Keeping your hands in a tripod, lifting it up towards the ceiling or maybe coming into a bind. Using the inhales to keep lifting that right shoulder back. Belly still zipped up. You're hugging it in. Staying here for one more breath. When you're ready, releasing the arm wherever it is. Pressing down, coming back into tabletop. Take a deep breath in to fill it. Reset. Stay for the exhale. And on your next breath in, the right arm goes up towards the ceiling with your gaze. 
And then threading it through, dropping the right ear this time, right back of the hand. Pushing onto that left hand to open up, encouraging a deeper twist. And again, lifting the arm up or binding. Mirroring what you did on the other side. Being mindful to check in with your body, doing what feels good. Using the next breath to unravel. And as you exhale, meeting back in tabletop. Check that the hands are underneath the shoulders. Spread the fingers wide. Draw the mat apart with the thumbs. And as you exhale, step back into plank, hugging that belly in. Hanging out here for one breath. Remembering all those juicy cues. Fire up the quads. One more breath here. Exhale, lift the tailbones up, downward facing dog. First down dog, let's pedal up the legs, bringing the left heel down, maybe staying here for a breath. Switching to the other side, right heel down, breathing into the back of that hamstring. Remember to still push the floor away. Firing the triceps and the biceps. Maybe wiggling the hips side to side. Slow, mindful movements. Still breathing in this light, this glow, allowing it to energize you. Coming still wherever you are in your down dog. Using the next deep breath in to lift the right leg up towards the ceiling, keeping the hips squared, point toes. And as you exhale, bring knee to nose, hug in, sip up the belly. Breath in here. Exhale, step it to the outside of the right hand, coming into lizard pose. Dropping the back knee, pointing the toes. And then you have the option here. Check the right knee stacked over the right ankle. Come onto your elbows. Or stay where you are if you have loss. If you like to open up the right hip, walk that right foot up and towards the right of the mat, letting the knee fall open. Maybe this allows for more space so you can drop down or you can stay on your arms. I'm pressing that top of that left foot down into the mat. Or you can... Option now here to fire up the back leg. Turn on your forearms. Remember to push the floor away, not collapsing in, zipping up the belly. And you're hugging those arms towards each other. Maybe rocking your hips, your foot front and back. One more breath in. If your leg is raised, drop the back knee, point the toes. Coming onto your arms if you are down. Begin to bring that right foot down if it was open and scooting it over towards the left wrist. Dropping down, setting up for pigeon. So checking that the chin is parallel. Flex the foot, protect the knee. Scoot that right leg back as much as it'll go, pointing. And pressing the shoelace part down. Remember to send the right hip back, the left hip forward. Maybe try picking up the arms, checking that you're square down. And when you're ready, deep breath in to fill. And as you exhale, melt your heart down. I'm going to keep the back leg engaged by pressing into the shoelaces. And maybe just check in, send the right hip back. Mm 
Maybe letting the eyes fall shut. Imagining the breath as it travels through, sending it all the way from the nostrils, traveling through your chest, the hips, especially that right one, all the way down to that left pinky toe mound. Softening down with every exhale. Surrendering to the posture and all its wonderful benefits. On the next breath in, you need to slowly, wherever you are, walk the hands back to your midline. Zipping out that tummy, tucking the back toes. Push yourself back into your down dog. Pedal out the feet. Release any tension in the right leg. Mine actually started to fall asleep. And then from here, take a deep breath in as you exhale, open the mouth. Let it out, no masks, yay. One more deep breath. Exhale, open the mouth. From here, shift your weight into your right hand. Hug that right tricep in. And then begin to either Place your left hand in the middle of the mat. We're coming into a gentle twist and down dog. And then if you're keeping your hand in the middle of the mat, you can push onto it and begin to slowly look underneath your right armpit. And we have the option, if you're able to balance the place, the left hand on your outside of the right ankle. Using it as leverage to twist a little bit deeper towards the right side. And you're looking all the way underneath your right armpit towards the ceiling. Hanging out here for one more breath. And as you exhale, gently untwist. Taking one more breath in, down dog. And then when you're ready, Lifting the left leg up on your next breath in. And as you exhale, bring it through knee to nose first. Hug in, push the floor away. And then as you exhale, left hand outside of the right, the left <laughs> hand. Standing up for lizard, dropping the back knee, pointing the toes. Check the knee to ankle alignment. 90 degrees. And then again, wherever you are staying here, zipping up that belly, making sure that your heart pulls through your arms if you're staying. You have the option again to drop down into your forearms or maybe creating more space by walking that left foot out, up and towards the left, letting that left knee fall open, noticing how that feels. And again, pushing on if you're on your forearms, zipping up that back leg. Maybe wiggling back and forth, seeing how that movement feels. Remembering to hug that belly in tight. Staying connected to our breath. Keep taking long, deep pulls, allowing it to travel throughout your entire being. One more breath here, and as you exhale, wherever you are, dropping the back knee, pointing the toes, beginning to scoot that foot behind the right wrist this time, setting up the pigeon on the left. And again, if the shin is not parallel, point the toes. Scoot that right foot as far back as it'll go, pointing the shoelaces, squaring the hip, so the left hip goes back. Right hip forward, checking in. Maybe lift the arms, lift that chest, and leading with your heart as you exhale, begin to melt yourself down. 
Remember to keep that back foot active so you're pressing down. And allow the excess to surrender, to melt, soften, Just relax. Your belly's still active. So kegel it up. And wherever you are in your next breath in, slowly coming back up. Zipping up the back toes, pushing yourself up into down dog. Down, down, this time switching, pressing onto that left hand, hanging that left outer upper arm in. Again, coming in with your right hand to the middle, so you're creating a tripod for the twist. And then just looking down as much as you can, using that right hand as leverage to twist yourself a little bit deeper. Or if you're able to, grabbing onto the outside of that left ankle. Still drawing the heels down towards the mat. The exhale to twist a little bit deeper. And then when you're ready in your next breath, then slowly unravel. Back to downward facing dog. Pedaling it out if that feels good. Wiggling the hips. Moving the spine gently, side to side. And when you're ready, take a deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth. And next breath in, bend the knees, look towards your hands. And as you exhale, slowly walk to the top of the mat. Keep going about it gently today. Deep breath in, flat back, hands to your shins. And then as you exhale, melt. Putting a big bend in the knees, we're going to actually let our bellies touch, not rest, so we're not releasing. Onto the thighs. Let the head go. Shake it yes, shake it no. And then grabbing your peace fingers with your toes. Begin to slowly straighten the legs, shifting your weight to the heels. Keep lifting that belly so you're zipping it up. Belly button to spine. And as you exhale, can you use your grip on your toes to maybe bend a little bit deeper. Elbows chicken winging to the sides. Shake the head, yes. Shake it, no. Next breath in, release. Come up halfway into your flat back, long line, crown of the head to your sit bones. Exhale, melt back down. All three corners of your feet. Inhale to rise slowly. Stacking vertebrae on top. Vertebrae. Reaching the hands up, firing the quads, lifting the gaze. As you exhale, bring your hands in prayer in front. So we're sending the kneecaps to the hips. We're drawing our tailbones down. We're engaging our belly, drawing the lower ribs in, taking a breath here, lifting the hip points, coming into a slight back bend on your next breath in. And as you relax, so bowing down over the legs. Inhale to come into a flat back. And as you relax, so bend the knees, plant the hands, step back into your plank. From here, take a breath in. Stay for the exhale. On the next breath in, drop the knees. Point the toes, hugging the elbows in. You're going to lower all the way down into your belly. 
not expressing, coming into a baby cobra, keep hugging the bellies and not putting pressure onto your hands, using your back to lift. Now as you exhale, tuck the toes and the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale here, and as you exhale, bend the knees, look towards your hands, walk or hop to top the mat. Fold. Breath into your flat back, zip up the legs. Exhale, bow over. Rooting the feet, inhale to rise all the way, reaching the arms up, lift the gaze. Exhale, hands to your heart. Lift the hip point, slight back bend as you inhale. And as you exhale, bow over your legs. Coming into your flat back on your breath in. Stepping back into your plank as your breath goes out. Hanging out here. One breath. Stay for the slow exhale. One more breath in. As you exhale, drop the knees. And this time lower all halfway. Into turn around the arms. And as you inhale, point the toes. Coming into cobra, maybe a deeper variation. Hanging out here for two breaths. See if you can pick up your hands. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Legs are fired up, so your kneecaps are lifted. And then as you exhale, forehead to the mat. Breath here, tucking the toes. And then exhale, push yourself back, downward facing dog. Breath in, exhale, bend the knees, look towards the hands. Walker, hop, top of the mat. Lying over our legs. Breath in, flat back. Breath out, bow. Again, root the three corners, especially those big toes as you inhale to rise. Firing the legs all the way. And bowing with our hands. Breath in here, back bend. And then as you exhale, bow. Inhale to coming into your flat back. Now that we're nice and warmed up, as you exhale, you can choose to step back into Chaturanga. If we're not meeting in plank, yeah, use the exhale to come down to Chaturanga. Your breath in, downward facing dog, pushing the heart through, breathing in. And then as you exhale, let's meet in downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth. Let it all out. Breath in. Breath out. Bend the knees. Look towards the hands. Walk or hop, meaning at the top of our mat in Uttanasana. Breathing in, coming into a flat back. Exhale to bow down. This time, take a look at your feet. Check that your hip width. Breathing all three corners down. You're going to shift your weight towards your left foot. So crown that left big toe mount all the way down to the inner left heel. And then slowly on your breath, you begin to rise, second vertebrae on top, letting the head come up last. So grounding down on the left, reaching the arms up, shifting your weight towards the left side, begin to bring that right leg, your knee towards your chest. So we're in stork pose. Arms are reaching up, your gaze is centered out in front, firing that back leg, sorry, that left leg. So you're pressing the top of the left side towards the back, softening the shoulders. Hanging out here, one more breath. And then as you exhale, begin to send that right knee, open up towards the right side, keeping the hip points facing towards the front. On your exhale, bring your hands to your hips. And then maybe helping or without any help coming into tree pose, bringing that right foot on the inside of that left leg, just above or below the knee. Check that the hip points are squared to the front as you open up the right knee to the right. Breath in to reach your arms up, extend your branches.
and then choosing any variation that you'd like. Maybe playing with your balance by closing the eyes. If your arms are reached, can you soften your shoulders back down? One more breath here. And then as you exhale, begin to slowly bring that leg back into stork pose. Your arms remain extended, or you can bring them down towards your hips. Check that the hips are in line with each other, so drop the right hip if you need to, and then as you take your next breath out, begin to kick that right foot back, slowly shifting the gaze, picking a focal point as you flex your torso down, coming into warrior three variation. Zip up that belly. Your arms can stay on your hips, or you can airplane the arms beside you, palms facing down, squeezing the shoulder blades towards each other. That back foot fired up, flexing or pointing the toes as you choose. Imagining a long line from the crown of your head all the way down to the back. One more breath in, coming back slowly and mindfully, bringing that right knee back up towards your chest. Breath in, lift the arms up, reach, get long. Drop the right hip, and as you exhale, release that back foot down. So the like a nice shake, ground all three corners of both feet. As you breathe in, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Lift the hip points coming into your back bend on your next breath in. And then as you exhale, bow. Flat back on your breath in. And as you exhale, hop back or step back into plank or turn around up. You're hopping. Breath in for your back bend. And then breath out, leaning back and downward facing dog. Deep breath here. Remember to push the floor away. Check that your fingers are spread wide. Draw them out apart with your thumbs, noticing the engagement of the inner upper arms. And then as you exhale, bend the knees, look towards the hands, walk or hopping to the mat, top, meeting in forward fold. And again, taking a look at our feet, grounding all three corners. This time shifting to the right, so big toe. And imagine a long line from your toe all the way to the inner side of that heel. So you're grounding on this side, the inner side of the leg. Breath in, coming all the way, stacking the vertebrae on top of each other. Allowing the head to come up last, and then bringing the arms up as you do, reaching for the sky. Shifting the weight now to the right side. Inhale that left knee towards your chest. Drop the left hip. Hanging out here. Keeping the left foot flex. Mine's over a candle. That feels interesting. <laughs> Hanging out in stork or going for your tree. Opening up towards the left side. Keeping the hip points. Headlights to the front. And then with the help of your hand or without, bring that left foot on the inside of that right leg. Anywhere you so choose. As well as any arm variation that feels good for you today. Remember to fire up that standing leg, especially in the inner part of that foot. Slow micro movements that could just make a huge impact on your balance, softening the shoulders, belly still zipped up. And when you're ready, slowly bring that left foot back up. And then using your exhale, kick that right foot back, arms going to airplane by your side, palms facing down. Dropping that left hip, hands on your hips if you need to check.
And remember, point or flex the foot. See how that feels differently on the leg. It should be breaking into a nice glow of sweat. And the next breath into slowly and mindfully bringing that left knee all the way back up, reaching the arms up overhead. One more breath in for good measure. And then as you exhale, slowly release. Seeing the legs to shake. Deep breath in, arms up. Exhale, let's slow it out, bowing down over the legs. Coming up for your breath in. Exhale, step or shoot back. Inhale, pull the heart through in between the arms. Exhale, hips up and back. On your next breath in, lift the right leg back. As you exhale, bring it through, knee to nose, hug that belly, push the floor. Look between your hands. And on your next breath out, step in between. Dropping the back knee, pointing the toes again. Check that your knee stacked over the ankle as you're breathing. Come up and press your hands onto the thigh. Quad stretch for the left leg. Pushing your torso away. Keep hugging that belly in. Still kegeling it up. And then your next breath in, lift the left arm up. Maybe lift your gaze along with it. Offering a deep back bend if that is in your practice today. Maybe keeping the right hand on your thigh, or maybe walking it to the back of that left leg. Lunging still into that leg, squeezing them in for balance. Now when you're ready, as you exhale, frame the hand, the foot with both your hands. Place the left hand down, hug the outer upper left arm in, and then tuck the back toes, zip up that back leg. Remember to lunge deep into that right knee, and then lift the right arm up, gentle twist. You have the option to stay here. Maybe we can just boot that foot so it's in a tripod out in front, dropping onto the outside of that left foot. So it's like variation one. I said one because we're going all the way down. Sign so plank variation two. Stack the feet, lift the hip. Guess what? Number three, pick up the leg. And then from here, wherever you are, breath in as you exhale, step the right foot behind you, coming into wild thing without burning my butt. Drop in the back foot so the right foot is pressing onto the earth, same with the left hand. And you're lifting the hips. Breath here and as you exhale, bring your bum down towards your heels and then reverse down, down. Lying it out on your breath in, rocking into plank. Drop the knees if you need to. Exhale, chaturanga. Breath in. Upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in to lift the left leg up. Breath out, hug knee to nose. Look between your hands. Exhale, step it through. Drop in the back foot, coming into a low lunge, point the toes, and then press onto that left thigh. Torso away, heart shining proudly forward. Case looking in front. Maybe checking into your breath, checking into your intention. If you set one at the beginning of the practice. Next breath in, lift the right arm up. Again, offering a back bend or stay where you are. Keep 
pressing that left foot down, imagining what stands. And as you exhale, frame the feet with the hands, tuck the back toes, hug the right upper arm in, gentle twist first. But the option to stay here. Or using your breath out to transition wherever you're going to go. Your side plank with the tripod, dropping back. Stack in the feet wherever you are, lift the hips, lift the foot if you're going to go there. If you're already there, excellent. And as you exhale, step the right left foot behind you, wild thing on the left. Keep lifting the hip points up, firing your glutes, and then on your exhale, touch down, reverse, back to down dog. From here, bring your big toes to touch, your knees wide on the mat. For a brief child's pose, sending your hip points towards, sorry, your sit bones to your heels, letting the head rest. Allowing this brief intermission, just check in again. Maybe slow down your breath. Offer up some thanks to your body, to your lungs. To your heart. Massaging your third eye, maybe wrapping your head side to side on the mat. When you're ready, let's meet back in tabletop. Check the hand alignments, spreading the fingers as wide as you can, hugging the outer arms in. Stepping back into your plank, fire up your belly. Breathing out to lift those hips. Your next exhale, bend the knees, look towards the hands, walk or hop, top of the mat, and bow over your legs. Bring your big toes to touch, your knees slightly wide apart. Hugging in, pushing the shins back, squeezing the inner thighs together. Breath in, rise, catch your beach ball. Send your tailbone down, tuck it in. And then sit lower as you breathe out. Remember to draw your lower ribs into the hips. Softening the shoulders away from the ears. Shifting the weight towards the heels, picking up your toes. Your next breath in, bring your hands to your heart. And then as you exhale, twist by tucking the left arm on the outside of the right thigh. Twisting towards the right. Hands to your heart as close as you can get them. Pushing onto the hands. And using the exhale to slowly, mindfully twist. Maybe lifting the gaze up towards the ceiling. Can you sit your tush a little lower? Lift the heart a little higher. Check that the left hip is not rocking forward, send it back so they're in line with one another. And then as you exhale, look towards the ground, fold, and twist. Take a deep breath in as you exhale, bow down. Breath in, shift your weight to the heels, pick up your toes, coming back, chair pose number two. I try very hard not to call it chair pose. <laughs> Because I know, for me, it's a trigger. <laughs> but that's it. Soften the shoulders. Flat back. 
bit lower. Breath in, you got this. Hence the heart, squeeze them in. Breath out to twist towards the left. Check that the hips are again, squared and in line. Sit that tush a little lower. One more breath here. And then exhale slowly looking back at your mat. Breath in, get flat with your back. Breath out, release. Feet back to hip width apart. Breath in, flat back again. Breath out, release. Bend the knees a lot. Maybe step onto your hands with your feet, toes to your wrist creases, pressing down. Then using your breath out to slowly straighten the legs. So pulling that belly in, letting the head go. And pressing onto the balls of your feet. Giving some love to the wrists. And you're ready, slowly release the hands. Breath in, coming into your flat back. And then as you exhale, bowing down one more time with the nasana. Here, just check that you're balanced out equally throughout the feet. One more breath here. And then when you're ready, begin to heel toe your feet out to mat width apart. Letting the feet point out into a V-shape so your heels are slightly inwards. And then as you exhale, coming into your squat. Send your sit bones down towards the mat, zip of the belly. Arms for your triceps on the inner side of the legs. Hands in prayer, squeeze in. Pressing with those legs onto your arms. And your arms are resisting the pressure. Maybe letting your eyes fall shut. Imagining the breath coming in and through the body. It's a nice warm glow. Feeling the energy rush through. All the way down to your lungs, your hips. Allowing them to open up to your legs, to your feet. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. And when you're ready, opening the eyes, placing the hands out in front, setting up for crow pose, so your feet can stay where they are. You can bring them together. So you're going for the Full version, knees up into your armpit. Shifting gaze forward, rounding the spine. Remember, hug the belly in and going up as you exhale. Five more seconds here to play. And then as you exhale, coming back down, coming to sit on our mat with our legs extended out in front, then that's in our staff pose. Remove the flesh from your tush, get nice and straight. Take a deep inhale, lifting the arms up, reach. And then as you exhale, slowly hinging forward, bowing down. Hands go where they go. Maybe grabbing onto the feet, leading with the heart, bowing over the legs, letting the head go last. Remember to keep the feet flexed, toes pointing forward. 
and press the tops of the thighs down into the mat, hip bones into the sockets. I still don't know what that cue means. I'm like, how am I supposed to put the hip bones in my socket? Aren't they already in there? <laughs> Somebody explain that to me after. Next breath in to slowly undo, stacking the vertebrae. Once back up, bend the right knee, pressing that big toe mount onto the outside of that left foot. Lifting the left arm up as you inhale. And as you exhale, half load of the fishes pose hook. The left tricep over the outside of the right thigh. My hand tripod behind you. Still long straight line in the spine and exhale to slowly twist, looking over the right shoulder if that's accessible. Bringing that left heel into the mat, sitting up a little bit taller and then breathing out the twist a little bit more. Hug that belly in. And your next breath out slowly. Undo. Turning the right leg, digging the right heel down. This time, lift, crossing over that left leg. Pressing that left big toe mount down into the ground. Getting nice and tall as you breathe in. Right arm goes up. Using the exhale to twist. Tucking the arm, holding on to the knee if you need to. Left arm, back. Bipod, hands, palms down. My hand, my arms are shorter, so I need to tripod it up so I can be taller and straighter on my spine. And then first zip up the belly and then slowly twist a little bit more. Remember, right foot is flexed. Exhale to slowly undo. And then this time coming back to lie on our mats. Bringing your knees towards your chest. Hands to your shins. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze. Fire up that kegel one more time. Lift the forehead towards your knees. Tight a little squeeze in. And when you're ready, as you exhale, melt down to the mat. And any version of Shavasana that feels good for your body today. Sutta Kanasana, child pose, maybe even. Allowing the eyes to fall shut. Let's take a couple of cleansing breaths, empty out your belly. Using the next breath in to fill up all the way down. Holding it at the top for five, four, three, two, one. Opening the mouth. Letting your body melt, your back, knees, the ground, your hips, your legs. Let's take another full, deep inhale, letting all that goodness, that glow, that energy fill you all the way up to the very top and hold. For another three, two, one, opening the mouth, exhaling, letting it all melt.
following your breath. Imagining this warm glow, this light, feeling this heat inside in your heart center. And just as we did at the beginning of the practice, allowing every breath in for this glow, this warmth to get stronger, get brighter. Using every breath out, imagining getting wider, expanding. The yellow golden light getting brighter, shining. It's every breath in. And then as you exhale, standing out. To your body, every limb. Shining out of your fingertips, your toes. Surrounding you. Expanding it, maybe beaming it out to your loved ones. Feeling the warmth grow. Expand, radiate. Back on your cloud where you are safe. Connecting back to your breath, to your body, the present self on your mat. Bringing that awareness, that heat, that glow inwards. Back to your heart center. Knowing that it is here whenever you need to grow it and expand it. Wiggle out your fingers and your toes. Maybe wiggle your head side to side. Using your next breath to lift the arms up overhead. Extending the legs if they're not extended. And as you exhale, you reach and stretch out in opposite directions. When you're ready, bring your knees towards your chest. Rolling over into one side. Staying here for a moment. Offering a brief thanks. As Zoe said, to Mother Earth for supporting you. And then your breath in, slowly pushing yourself back into a seated posture, keeping the eyes closed. Grounding down to your sit bones. 
When your breath in, slowly reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Imagining this warm light from the earth, from the sky above, this glow, this energy. Reaching, and then as you exhale, grabbing some for yourself, bringing it down to your heart. Allowing it to seep in with energy, gratitude, with love, and thanks. Together we bow and say namaste.